The yoga mat you choose can have a massive impact on your yoga practice. It can be the difference between reaping all the incredible benefits of doing yoga or only getting mediocre results. There's two basic reasons why it's so important to choose the right mat. The first is that using the wrong mat can effectively wreck your enjoyment of yoga and I'll explain more about the pain and discomfort some mats cause later on. The thing is, if you don't enjoy yoga and you kind of dread it, think of it as a chore, you don't look forward to it, then there's a very good chance you lose interest in it and you'll stop doing it. And you obviously can't derive any benefit from something you're not doing anymore. The second reason is that a lot of mats on the market which are sold as yoga mats aren't really designed specifically for yoga. They're kind of gym mats and they don't really allow you to perform yoga properly. As I say, they might be fine for other forms of exercise or movement, but they just don't work for yoga. You'll get the best results when you're able to maximize your performance, so you want a mat which facilitates that. And that's why you want to proceed with care. It will make a big difference in the long term. There's just a few things we need to consider before you're ready to buy a mat and now I'll quickly guide you through the most important ones. So you want a mat that's durable, that can stand up to vigorous use. There are a lot of mats on the market which tear or rip very easily and you obviously don't want to have to buy a new mat every few weeks. A true yoga mat needs to be at the right level of thickness for yoga practice. Mats which are too thin don't provide enough cushion from the ground so they cause pain, discomfort and will damage your joints. On the other hand, mats which are too thick don't allow you to balance and they inhibit yoga performance generally. If you have any kind of joint condition then it is best to speak to an experienced yoga instructor in person before buying a mat or even starting yoga. And your mat needs to be sticky enough to stop you from slipping while you're moving around on it. Slips are dangerous so preventing them is one of the key functions of a yoga mat. And that's pretty much it. It's not complicated but it is very easy to buy the wrong mat if you don't keep these factors in mind.